Florida. My name is Janessi. I'm in the 10th grade. I will graduate 2015 and I go to MacArthur High School. My name is Ashley Grizzle and I go to MacArthur High School. Yeah, I'm graduating class of 2013. Uh, my name is Romain Richards. I'm currently attending MacArthur High School. Uh, I'm graduating in 20, class of 2015. I was, after school, I was tutoring one day at my regular math class and Mr. Derek came inside, Mr. Derek, our instructor, he came inside and he told, he started talking about this first robotics thing and I was like, I was like, it doesn't really sound like something that I was interested in. And then he started, when he said that there was going to be an engineer there that built like a smart house and I was like, oh, that's so interesting. And he started just talking about the whole program and everything. So I was like, oh, wow, this sounds exciting. So I'm like, okay, and I started coming to the meetings and everything. At first, to be honest, I thought this program, like it was a, like a nerdy thing. Then when I got into it, I saw like, it wasn't that nerdy, like, you don't have to be that nerdy to do this stuff. I'm a person, like, I know, I, I love knowing the why. Like, I know, I love knowing why things work and why they are the way they are. And I was like, I, I want to be involved in this. And then I came to the first meeting and I saw that it wasn't just about people that knew how to build a robot. It was about people that knew how to read the rule book and ma manage the business team and stuff like that. When I went to the event at the regionals, uh, it was like butterfly, like it was exciting. It was my first time ever going to such an amazing competition. I met quite a few people, different teams, looked at some amazing robots. I, yeah, because I think that I was like, oh, it's going to be so, it's going to be boring. But it was, I was going to be like, oh, it's going to be boring. You're just going to see this. But it was, it was actually really exciting. It was fun, it was exciting. I was like nervous every time our team went out to compete. Like once you saw like your team go up there and like they were go doing action, like our team was doing very, very good. It was nerve wracking because like, oh, I want to win, I want to win. Like, you would run, like we would stand in the stands and when they came on and then we would run back to where the rankings to see what we were. We'd always wanted to be at top. It was, it was wow, it was great, it was great. We didn't expect to go that far in the competition. We made it to semifinals. There was a lot of tension like, it, it, it wasn't, it, it looked easy, but it wasn't that easy. Like we, were, we had to, after each match, we had to go check the battery, we had to check if everything is working, like if there's no problem, you know? You have to make sure everything is running 100% good. Anything with building or touching the robot, I didn't want to have any part of that, but I wanted, I know that I was really good at like going out there and talking to people, so I was like, oh, I. I think that would be good if I did the business management thing. Uh, my position in the team, I was safety captain, and we pretty much um, we had uh, we had to learn the rules, and we had to make sure like everyone in the team was following safety rules, like wearing safety glasses when cutting wood or whatever, and close toed shoes and things like that. My role was I was actually on the me mechanical mechanical and chassis group. Um, I helped with building the robot, uh, coming up with designs, uh, the dumping mechanism, um, help, um, helping figure out where we want to put the pistons and stuff, uh, how much we want to put on it for it to drive. It was myself, Nicholas, and a few other people, and we, um, we were responsible for making team, the team logo, the team shirts, putting everything that we used on, that the team used on the robot, putting that into a spreadsheet and like all the prices, based, like checking if everyone had their forms and stuff like that. So um, I, I learned a lot, like, and then I helped a lot with the, with how the robot had to be formed and everything, so. The most memorable experience yeah. was going to the actual competition and seeing the other teams that were at the competition and like sitting there and seeing like the actual robots doing the putting the disc into the little um the little so, goals my yeah. sister kept calling me a nerd because she thought this was pretty nerdy and everything but i'm like no it's not it's pretty it's fun actually this experience is going to help me a lot on the technical side and mechanical side because i want to be a engineer a techni technical engineer 
to do I have something to do with electronics, but I actually want to like engineering. I must still do it, but I want to do football first, like to go to college and do football, but still try to have a degree but our background in engineering. Since I always wanted to do something with like mechanical and engineering and things like that, I was like, okay, this is a good gateway for me to get involved. So I'm like I'm planning like to start like a my own mechanic shop where I can fix cars and everything. For the next year, what I think we need to do is like, like get get more people into it, like summer camps if they want to tell their friends about it or their families, you know just to get more support and stuff. Yeah, I guess I just, like talk to them about what we're doing and everything and encourage them to come and um, just put ourselves out there and um, do the things we like and get involved.